today. After the rainy day, will be a beautiful sunshine day today. Today, I gotta do the replacing the um, water pump. It's called a cooling system for this beamer, beamer three three beamer something three three zero G. See, it's had a complaining problem, and I opened up so far. I had a C. See this one, a bit of Milky Way, Milky Way, and I, you to find out they are leaking from the engine or leaking. There are two problems, okay? They may be leaking from the the water go inside the engine or the head gasket, or maybe the oil coolant system for the transmission is attacked into the radiator right here. Maybe the water, the oil go in here. The other side of water, so that's why they might got some Milky Way. See that the Milky Way we're talking about. See here. So what I have to do is put new water pump in, make it go. And before you want to check the where the see check the oil dipstick. See if in a Milky Way. So the oil dipstick is still good. It mean the water not go inside the engine. So the oil and water mix go into the radiator from oil cooling and I got this one from coming today so this is the old one what we have to do is the water pumps lose pressure okay that's why it built up a heat see that little hole here that's the diaphragm hole is that one and once you replace the cooling system they all come complete thermostat sensor the how else and the fan clutch come together so when we buy that we have to buy the whole kit this is the brand new kit see the housing with thermostat built in it just came this morning so that's the brand new water pump with a seal see the seal brand new water pump brand new water pump and this one for sure is the fan clutch this brand new fan clutch so make sure when you put a bit of grease in here in this thread so when you put them back in and later easy for someone else to take it off so don't try too hard and it's very hard to take this one up okay what i'm gonna do is see this e see the oil the water bottle Connects direct into the where the oil here, oil coolant system it's for the gearbox. That's the main thing. That's why all the Milky Way is. But now they have to fix for the customer the coolant system. So I have to put all this new in. Stay tuned, they're gonna put it back together. So what I do is I install the new water water pump first. Make sure you put the new our rings on. Your our rings, don't lose it. And what you do is put a bit of grease or something. Put a bit of grease. Make sure clean the water pump house. So that where the water pump go in. Oh, lucky, I have my mom towel. This is super dry, really good. Very wet. Someone else, they put grease, they put grease in here, to make it go easy. But for me, I want to make extra secure. I put a line up silicon. It's much secure because I think about next ten years or it's much better. I better do it this way. More silicon. Like go in slowly, don't go too fast. You might break the seal by hand. So it's hold there. Put one in diagonal east side. 
first holding one there and one this side. And now it's on both sides. We get number 10. Sorry. I should have all my tools here ready. We get side number 10. Make sure we turn. Turn each one, one turn each side, make sure it's coming in even. So see the gap, they're coming in. See the, um, the silicon start to spread out now, when you go all the way in. It's beautiful. Now we put the rest in. Another two nuts, two more nuts here. One here and one here. That's it, now the water pump is so. Oh, don't have to be too tight because it's had the silicon, the old ring, just tight by hand. We do, you can feel it by your hand. System. It's, make sure they got the rubber seal in there. Now, Sure, this diagonal one. So make sure it's online. Don't, don't do it too hard yet. Don't do it too tight yet. We got to make sure still can gig it. It. You can move that good, don't go too tight, okay? And the last one, number 12. Go in here. Yeah. Okay, I guess number 12. So make sure this one. Just, just touch. That's it. Don't do too tight. Now we try to move the small one in first. That one. Just about to tight in. Make sure they came in evenly. Make sure put an eye and check the gap. See that you can see it coming in. You can see the gap between the rubbers. The rubbers coming in good. Beautiful. Now this one. Just feel by hand, huh? It's all plastic. If you do too hard, you break the nuts, the bolt, or you break the plastic. Not too hard. Remember, it's all about European car. All plastic. Another one there. And now. Put that one there, that one there. Make sure the clip already in position. All you do is just push it in. That's it. Go in. This one, number 11. Yeah. 
just go firm, not too hard, okay? It's all plastic and aluminum. So the water pump in. So this one, make sure to push this one in when you slide this one in first and then push it in. So gig it, gig it, gig it, and then push it in all the way. That's it, push it back. If not come out, it's secure. Now, the water pump pulleys, where I put all the bolts. So make sure clean up first. So put one in first, and now we can turn around, do the other one. One line in first and the rest you can do easily. Belt tensioner, this one's still good, no noise. I hope you guys can see it. Sorry, I can't bring the camera up this also. Now we put the belt back together before we put that hose back on. So make sure it goes in. This one, that one. I don't know where to go. So where this one going? Now set in. Now the belt holding the pulley properly. Now we tie this one. Before we do it by hand, make sure you have to tie this one again. Otherwise, it came up. So make sure you tie it again. You hold by hand when you tie this one. Not not strong enough. All right now. Brand new one. Do this by better gun picker. Whenever you pull it out, leave it on like that. Don't turn around, you mix up. Your fan will rotation different angle. This is a brand new one. Just one going down. And this one going up, like this. Kaboom. See why the fan clutch, why the nut stay still, why it's turning. Because the building here, when it's cold, this one automatically release. When it's hot, it's automatically sitting and it make the fan turn stronger, faster. So it can cool down the, the engine. That's how you replace it. Now we're gonna put it back together. Make sure, turn around, put a bit of grease in here. So. Make it easy to come out next time. The fan and the fan cover coming in together. They come in together. Make a turn slowly. Come on, man.
So the one is in. Now you can turn. Now you can turn the fin. So it's going in. See, it's going in. It's going in. It's going in. Now just get this one. Yep. Pull it. And that's in. Still in. Yep. Yep. Go one more. And still it's hot until it's hot. It should be all right. Nearly get there. Okay, it's hot now. Just hit it by hand. Done. So you hit it, hit it, and you stay in all the way and push this one in. It's all the way in. Make sure you pull back a little bit. This one in. This one. Push it in, and then make sure you pull back. See if it still come out. That means push it in again. Okay, good now. Okay, ready to go. Now we put some more water in. Together, so very easy. Gotta be somewhere. Make sure I put all the power plug down, and you get in trouble, brother. You're in trouble, brother. Gotta be clipping. Click. Another one on the top one. Gotta be clipping. Click. Slide in. Done. This one over here. This one down here. Put the water in more. See where the water running out somewhere. Suck in more. Let it suck in, make sure it's all the way full. All in. Now, all the clip back in. Push. One, two, three. Three, pull it back out, push it back in. Done. Now we may stop the engine so it can suck up more water. So now check the water again before we're gonna start up the engine. It's uh, coming down a little bit. Okay, now we try to start the engine, see how it goes.
the stuff circulates in the air, the bubbles and everything, make sure it all comes out. And you keep putting an eye on it, watching it. And it's sucking more, that's good. Keep sucking in, keep sucking in, that's good. Check for any leaking. Check for any leaking there, underneath there, any leaking. So they suck in more water now, so we need to build up more. So that's why we have to put an eye on this all the time. Build in more, see the when it the the engine start to heat up, the thermos start to open. The thermos start open and then the water suck in. So that's why we have to don't close this one yet. Don't build up more until it cannot go down no more. That means it's good when it's ready. That's it's full. It's full and no more air and bubble inside. Good. Before this car have overheat and noise, making greater noise. So mainly the noise from the water pump. So in here, the pulley, the bearings it went out. So that's why I make the really little funny noise. So far, so good. Fill up more water. Don't worry about the speed out. Would hurt the car. The engine still cool anyway. So make sure all the connection all in. Check the fan. See the fan inside. The and that's it. That's how we replace the uh, cooling system for the BMW 330C. So far, I left the engine run for 20 minutes and see the temperature gauge. See how the temperature like go in here. So the temperature keeps staying there, and we will see it's in the middle now. And we will see for another five minutes later. See how it go. But I see it's like it going down a little bit when it go at the middle, and it dropped down slowly. So that's mean good. So that's all that we did replace. Minutes as I see before in the middle. Now it's see it go down a little bit. Can you see it? So that side is good. So the thermostat and the water cooling working good. The new water pump is working good now. Thank you for watching, guys. If you have any question on any trouble with cars, please comment down below, and I will try to solve the problem for you thank you for watching